What is up guys? Welcome to T-Fish TCG. Let me just start off by saying this. This is gonna be an insane video. Probably my most insane up to date right now. So basically I'm going to be opening every collector booster pack from every set that they ever made a collector booster pack for. So that started all the way back with Throne of Eldraine, which was like 2019. So every set since then, I um, mean, we got like Modern Horizons 2, um, not like just the standard sets, just I got everything. Everything that's like Unfinity, you know, who wants to open an Unfinity pack? Some people might not even know what that uh, set is, but uh, the reason I got that one is because they do have Shocklands that look sick as hell. They look so good. So that's what we we're hoping for in that pack. But I am going to go through all of these packs. I'm going to make probably two separate videos because it's going to be pretty long. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put... Whenever I open one of the packs, I'm going to put what that pack cost me to buy. And I'm going to put the top, top mythic, rare, and the uncommon from those sets. I'm going to put them in the, in the screen so you guys can see what I'm shooting for in those packs. And I'm also going to guess what I think the most expensive card is from these sets because I started playing Magic right around when Throne of Eldraine was introduced. So uh, <laughs> it's pretty much, I know all these cards um, and it's gonna be a really good trip down memory lane from when I started playing Magic. Um, so let's get this started. I am so excited for this video. It's gonna be sick. Let's hope we get big pulls. Let's do this. Okay, folks, we are starting off with Throne of Eldraine, which most people said is an overpowered set, and I agree. It was very overpowered. Um, so, oh wow, that tore super easy. I'm hoping, okay. I'm thinking the top card in this set is most definitely the Great Henge Extended Art Foil. Because you could not get an Extended Art Foil to save your life in these collector boosters. So, oh, you guys ready? Let's go. All right, run away together. Barrow Witches, Wolf's Quarry, Knight of the Keep. All right, so, Another fun thing about this opening is you get to see all the showcase arts from all of these sets. This is when they started doing showcase arts. So these ones were like fairy tale showcase arts because that's what Eldraine was based off of pretty much. So look how sick that looks. Also for my magic fans out there, adventures were so much fun and so annoying at the same time in standard. That's another thing I'm going to point out is cards I liked in standard at the time and cards I absolutely hated most likely will be more cards I hated that were used against me in the meta okay so dwarven mine we're just doing the commons first witching well all right we're in the uncommons we got the deathless knight there were a knight from each if I recall correctly overwhelmed apprentice I did use this card a few times Falmire Knight, I definitely use this card to both draw and get that 1-1 one, one death touch. And it's in the showcase, very nice. So I don't know, is this gonna be, okay, this is gonna be a common. Another Reaper of Knight, but a non-foil. Okay, okay, is this gonna be a, another common? So they change all the time in their collector boosters. So I don't know when the rares will start. Usually back at this time when they first started it, there weren't as many rares, I don't believe. So I think we're getting there though. Okay, here's a rare. A Mace of the Valiant. 
Not one of the best. Not one of the best. Okay. We got a mythic, guys. We got a mythic. Mythic and Eldrain, what do we think? What do we think? Well, we definitely want it to be the Great Henge. But we'll also take an Oko, because that guy was ridiculous. And he got banned. Alright. <laughs> Outlaw's Merriment. I feel like this will be worth nothing, but as always, putting the prices on the screen. But we did hit a Mythic, which is fantastic. Not the mythic we're looking for. And I think this is the last slot here. It's a rare. Charming Prince. I did use this card a lot too. Um, yeah, that's the last card. Yep, and then the token. All right. This is where the big money slot is. And it's so hard to pull good cards in this back slot. And actually... It might be harder to pull foil cards in this back slot. I think if I looked that up right. Um, so we might have got something good here based on the fact that it's foil in that back slot. So a nice trip down memory lane for Eldrain. I feel like that pack was pretty good for me. I will grade it a three and a half out of five we'll give it that okay all right we are moving on to theros which is one of my favorite sets just because it was set with like greek mythology mythology in general i don't know but it was awesome it was one of the first bundles i ever bought um and the first the first mythic i ever hit in magic was erebos and it was in the Constellation Art 2, which was super sick. So, and I'm guessing the top card in this is obviously, and it's aged very well, Shadow Spear, Extended Art Foil. They're almost always going to be Extended Art Foils or the, the top cards you want to hit. So, and that is a rare. So, what can we get in this? Triumph and Surge, Blight, Breath, Cattle, Catabola, okay. <laughs> Arena Trickster, Final Flare, Irreverent Revelers, oh, that's a tongue twister right there, Karametra's Blessing, okay, now we are in the Uncommons, here's one of the Demigods, Timerit, Chosen from Death, and if I remember correctly, I'm going to Band Storyteller, you can get a demigod in the back slot in Uncommon, which would be super not helpful. These lands might be worth something. They're absolutely beautiful. They've been my favorite lands. Uh, they're just so nice. So we got a Plains. I think the water, sorry, not the water, Island thinking Pokemon right now. The island I think looks the best. Can we get that? Nope. We get a mountain. So you get two lands in this, which is, you know, it kind of drags it down a little bit. I mean, they are a sweet land, so, you know, I'll take that. But uh, you get two of them per. We already got a mythic. This is a Sh Ashiok, right? Ashiok? Oh! Okay. This is the Ashiok from, um, I bought this, what's it called? Planeswalker deck. I bought a Planeswalker deck that had this Ashiok as the front card. Um, <laughs> it's so much fun. This, this card so much fun. If you can get it to pop off, gain control of all tar target creatures and opponent, all creatures target opponent controls. So... Basically, that's definitely a win. That's a nice hit, though. That's a real nice trip down memory lane as well. So, we got a mythic, okay? How about a rare? Ugh, that's like the worst rare you can get, guys. It's tough. It's tough, but we got, we got a mythic, okay? Hold your head high. Next card, 
It's another rare. Erebos's Intervention. Shoot. Okay. This is also a good card, though. What's a... Is this the last slot? Or... Yep, it is. No, it's not. Sorry. There's one last slot. And it could be an uncommon, which we do not want. We want, like, a Heliod in this back slot or something like that. No. Daxos. Come on, son. Son. Okay, well, that was... Got a Mythic out of it. Not great. Not a great pack. Not a great pack. Um, these are pretty much worthless. Like I said, the worst the worst rare I feel like you can get. Um, but, you know, we got a Mythic. I'm giving that one a 2 out of 5, though. That was... Theros, the collector boosters are not great. I feel like they're the worst of all of them and the hardest to hit except maybe that backslot l drain but we already did good there so on to the next all right we are on to ikoria which in the collector boosters is pretty sick because you get a guaranteed godzilla card a variant of one of the creatures in this set so basically <laughs> we want I think it's the three-headed, whatchamacallit, I don't know, <laughs> I forgot, I forgot what the name is, obviously, I feel like it'll be the top card, oh, this is different, I feel like it'll be the top card, um, so, I'm gonna say the top card is, well, I'm gonna say the top card is the Ozolith, uh, Extended Art Foil, but after that, it's that dragon-looking thing from Godzilla, the mythic. Um, so I don't know how this is gonna work. I really hope... Okay, I'm hoping this is how it starts. Got the token. I hope this is how it starts. And then our big card's in the back slot. So Greater Sandworm, Scoured Barons, the Thieving Otter, Vulpakeet. This was a creature heavy set because this plane is just full of creatures. Big dogs everywhere. It's it's a great looking set. One of my favorites. The mutate thing was pretty annoying. <laughs> Alright, the land. So this is where they start. No, no, they did that last. Sorry. Okay. Uh <laughs> Pulled it into a rare, but this is a commander card. I don't know. I don't know anything about the 2020 commander cards. Some of them are worth a lot. Not sure about this one. And what's next? What's next? We got another rare. Colossification. Uh, not one of the better rares we want to see. That's how you make your creature into a big, big boy. So. Next. Another rare. This is a rare foil. Ooh, a Runus Ultimatum. A foil extended art. That's pretty sick. I don't think that's the best ultimatum, but uh, I mean, that's decent. Decent pull. Is this the Godzilla one? No. Okay, I think. I think there's two of the showcase arts which are awesome. They're like comic book style. All right, and yep, another one. Ooh, Lord Draxus. Dracus. That was one of my favorites. Okay, this is the Godzilla slot, okay? I'm just gonna rip it off like a Band-Aid, okay? Rip it like a Band-Aid. Come on, give me a Mothra or that. Just give me something good. Okay. I was a slot early. It's a Sea Dasher Octopus. Now, now it's Godzilla. No! Oh, oh man. It's like scratched up too. How's that happen? Got a repack. Oh, I didn't realize there was another slot. Oh yeah, I got rid of the token. 
Another shore shark there. Well, not great out of Ikoria. <laughs> we at least wanted to hit like a rare. I mean, it's a it's a sprite dragon, which is which is a good card, but now what we're looking for this. This would be uh, just because I don't know what this commander card's worth. Three out of five. So far, Theros has been the worst, but we've actually done pretty well um, for the other two because I just looked up prices. Um, those two extended art foils pretty much saved the packs. Um, so this is something strange. You see how this pack is see-through? You can even see the dog token. Which, if this is the dog cat token, cat on the other side, that'll be the best token there is to get in this pack. But I have never seen this before in a clear package. And I ordered from Card Kingdom. They are reliable. Always have been. So this is just something weird. But it looks properly packaged. You know, printed and all that. But it is just super weird to have a clear package. Just because you can maybe try and tell what, what, like, what you're going to get. It's weird. So, maybe this pack is just going to be a straight dud for that reason, but who knows? Now, opens really easy. Ah, uh, this has me worried. So weird. Okay, this is set up like that again, so this should be a common, I'm hoping. Yes. Okay, is there a cat on the back? No. It's a sapperling. Well, we knew that was coming, right? All right, core 21. What do you got for me? Okay, this is, yeah, this is definitely a repack. Look at this order, what is, why, why is the land there? You're supposed to be commons first. All right, we'll see if we even get a rare in this, guys. I mean, an uncommon here. Oh, God, riddle form. Okay, that's a nice looking mountain though. At least they kept that for us. If you guys have received these packs like this, let me know in the comments because it's something strange. Now we get a rare, Glorious Anthem. Not great. Another rare and a hollow or a foil. Okay, that's decent. Uh, extended art. Sublime Epiphany. I want to fairy though. Oh, I didn't do the. Sorry, I didn't do the. The top card. Top card in this. Let's see, twenty-one. It's Terror of the Peaks. Terror of the Peaks extended art foil. That card is ridiculous. Ooh. No, that's really a good hit, actually. Heroic Intervention, Extended Art Foil. Ooh, okay. I take back what I said about the pack. I mean, there's no Mythics yet. I did not know you got two Extended Art Foils. I'm just, this pack's got me just confused as hell. Just bear with me here. Let's get something else. Let's get a common. Okay, yeah, because they did the the showcase. Um, two two like uncommon showcases, common uncommon, I believe. So this is probably gonna be another one. Yeah, the Chandra's Pyrling, and maybe something in the back. Oh, there's there's more than one card. Sorry, Mythic, Mythic. Everyone, it's a mythic. Okay. Which mythic? Can it be Terror of the Peaks? Can we get that terror? Oh! Grim Tutor and the Borderless. Ah. Uh, you know what? Keep packaging it like you guys do in the clear packaging, because that is sick. We hit three, two, three good cards in this. 
Grim Tutor? I know it's not the uh, Vampiric Tutor, but wow. That is a nice hit. I think there's one more. It could possibly be, if I remember correctly, an uncommon. Maybe not. It's a common. All right. Oh, shoot. <laughs> there was another one behind there, too. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a great pack. And I was worried. Everyone's at home saying, hey, man, don't worry about this. Clear packaging means it's all good. It's all good. All right. Very good. On to the next, then. That's a win. So we are on to Zendikar and something about Zendikar, guys. Pretty much all the mythics in here are straight garbage, except for Agadim's Awakening and I think some other one I can't remember right now. But what we're wanting to hit in these is the Expedition Land, which is pretty much you can get two of those per collector booster box. So that's 12 packs. So you have a one in six chance. So that is what we're looking for. Otherwise, most things in Zendikar are worth nothing. So can we do it? Can we keep the hot streak up from core 21? How do they do these? Okay, they do it the way I want them to do it. Okay. I believe anti-cognish angel heart protector these are a little little bent <laughs> you can see foiling is not great on them they have not aged well the mana skitter sneak Oof. tuck tuck rubble fort <laughs> what are these names it's cards I don't even recognize I recognize this card glacial grasp okay now we're on Party party was a huge thing in Zendikar. Kind of a fun mechanic if you can get it to work. But it's kind of hard to get it to work. Skyclave Shadow Cat. And we'll get the full art lands of Zendikar, which are real nice. We love to see full art lands. Okay. First rare. That's Dumpster Fire. One of the worst. Great card if you can get it played with the kicker. <laughs> uh, another rare. Kaza. Not good either. Like I said, most cards in Zendikar are not good. Or they're not worth much, I should say. Okay, but I did like the showcase art out of Zendikar. Looks really cool. We got two of these slots, yep, two. Got a nice looking cat there. The landfall was a big thing. If you can get that to pop off, people always use this early game, just throwing lands down, get it into a big old cat. Kitty cat, okay. Dual land, okay, we, okay, and that's not bad actually. Hitting one of the, the dual side lands, these lands look awesome. I'll show you the, the back side of it in a second once I figure out what this is. It's a common. Okay, so there's the back side, the forest. So it's a forest, mountain. Looks very nice. Okay. I hope this is not the token. I should have taken the token. Mythic. Oh my god, is this an expedition? Please be an expedition. Oh, yes it is. Yo! Oh, expedition, yo! Okay, okay, okay. I don't know the prices of the expeditions, but the fact that we got one is ridiculous. Oh, ain't that something? That is beautiful. Okay, it's not one of the, it's not the top two. I know that for sure, but hitting an expedition, awesome. Zendikar for the win. I'm giving it up. I'm giving it a five out of five just because we hit a kind of impossible hit or a very unlikely hit. Awesome. 
Oh my god, I just looked up the price of that card. For a foil version, $70? Oh, I should have been way more excited for that card, but I just don't know the Expeditions that well. Some of them can be like, just like 10 bucks, like the lower end ones. Well, that's a gruel one. Uh, but wow. Now, now I feel like we're ahead. And I just can't believe we hit an Expedition land. People... People get real mad when they don't even get like one of those in their collector booster boxes, which there should should be two. <sighs> amazing, amazing. Sorry, I just had to take a quick breather from that. But now we're getting into some big territory. This pack, Commander Legends. What can I say? It costs $55, as you've seen on the screen. It's it's something we want a jeweled lotus extended art foil. Absolutely insane if you hit it, $800 or something like that. I wonder if that's why the price is so high. I don't remember there being that many like huge cards. I mean, there's I think there's Mana Drain as one of the Commander staples. This one's also kind of bent, as you can see. All right, we got the. I'm gonna get the. Get this out of the way. Got a nice horror copy token. Okay. We went from Core 21 into Zendikar, doing real hot. Keep it going. Hands up, say yes. I think so. I think so. Or at least, you know, let's get let's get some kind of hit. And I do remember the foils in these were like very faded. As you can kind of see, like they did not do a good job foiling these cards. There are foil etched cards. I think that's where that was introduced in this set. Raises the alarm. Trusty pack beast. Uh, burnished heart. So I'm pretty sure but like most of these are reprints um, from older sets. It's usually how the commander stuff goes. Alright. So we got two legendary slots, I believe. So I think this one's a legendary... Yeah. Yep. Okay, a legendary uncommon. Now what's next? A rare... I think we want Sakashima, the actual card, the creature. I'm not sure this is probably worth nothing. A six cost to flash in a three one. Thanks, Cascade. It's probably nothing. Just guessing that. Uncommon. Oh, okay, actually. <laughs> they did an extended art uncommon? What the hell is up with that? This is one of the better uncommons though, because it's used in like every commander deck. Okay, let's get some mythies going, huh? I'm okay, about a rare. A druid. Never know prices on druids. Usually they're dees, but I don't recognize this guy. Another uncommon foil etched. I think there's another foil etched legendary, possibly. Mythic, foil etched mythic. Zer the Enchanter. Mythic foil etched. Okay, do you see how dark that looks? It does not look that good to me. They did not foil this well. All right, this is the back slot. This is where we need that jeweled lotus, mana drain, something. We need it to say an M on the bottom here. M it up, M it up, it's a rare. Ugh, sphinxes are worth nothing. Ever. Well, that was a big dunce. Two out of five. Because I'm pretty sure none of those were worth near what the pack was. Alright, I'm doing three more packs. Nope, four more packs, sorry. Four more packs for part one. So, Commander Legends was the biggest letdown yet. Especially because of its price for pack. Kaldheim was a very fun set to open, but the these also had 
Oh, you can see it right now. Look at how curled these cards are. It's so bad. Oh, yeah, you can just do that. They also had a foiling issue. Is it? Okay. This. I feel like this is gonna render the cards worthless. Man. Okay. Let's see if we can rebound from that terrible last pack. Elderleaf Mentor. Struggle for Skemfar. So curled. So curled. Oh my god. Assault Ravager, Giant's Amulet, alright this is the commander slot, started doing that, rare, Righteous Valk, okay that's a nice hit, nice hit for a rare, um, by the way, Vorinclex is the top card, I already know it, Foil, Phyrexian, because I have it. It was an amazing pull back in the day. All right, so that's a good pull, Righteous Valk. Another rare. Devil's Trickery, not good. It was also banned <laughs> in standard. Uncommon. Mythic. Oh, Starnum Unleashed. Nice, in the borderless treatment. That looks very nice. It's not worth all that much, but uh, it's a good looking card and a very good card if you foretell it. It's a great way to close out games. Let's get some more Mythies going. Okay, that's, I just don't know the order right now. That's a foil showcase. They went with like the metal rock showcase stuff in this set. I think this is the last... God, that's not what we want to see. Is there a card behind? Okay. Wait, did I take out the token? Sure didn't. Oh, that's not a good back slot card. But uh, Righteous Valk and Starnheim, those are decent. So, three out of five. Three out of five for this one. I'm actually going to give that last one a 2 out of 10, just because the cards were curled as hell. Luckily, we didn't get any foil cards in that that were worth anything, so they weren't as curled, which is nice. So, we got Strixhaven out. This is going to be a fun one, guys, because we can get the Japanese versions of Instants and Sorceries, and oh my god, they look so awesome taking out the token okay so I think you can get two you either have two slots or you can get the Japanese version um, they look way better than the American versions in my opinion probably most people's opinion but the top card we are looking for in Strixhaven is the Japanese demonic tutor it looks insane Okay, at least I think that's what the top card is. But and there, there's not that many great uh, cards in this set, like big money cards. All right, got some uncommons. Now we're doing it in some kind of order. Uncommon for the lessons. Mythic, Mythic Planeswalker, oh please, please be Professor Onyx. I do not have a Professor Onyx. Yeah, Kazmina. Okay, I actually don't have a Kazmina either. Nice Mythic hit, that's just the regular foil slot, so we'll take that, that's nice. I don't think she's worth anything either, but hitting a Mythic is always something. Now we're into the commander slot. Don't know what any of those are worth, really. Ugh. Extended art. Now is it Japanese? No, it's foil etched. Opt. Nice. You can see the barely see it. 
Foil etched means these little gold things are foiled, kind of. <laughs> okay, so... I don't know the other slots, honestly. Is this going to be Japanese? It is Japanese. It's Japanese rare. Foil etched. That is a... It's not a shock. That's lightning bolt, I think. Which is better than shock. So that's a nice hit. That's foil etched. You can see very subtly on the box there. Okay, how many cards do we have left? I think we have, there's two more behind this. So I think maybe another one is Japanese Uncommon. Nope. Divine Gambit. Okay, last slot. No. <sighs> That's not what you want in the last slot. Well, Lightning Bolt was the best card out of here. Uh, I want to say it's like 10 bucks. The Japanese are more. More money. Um, Kazmina, I don't think is anything. Opt might be a couple bucks. These, I definitely don't think they are. So, three out of five. All right, looked up that price. Lightning Bolt actually saved the pack, I feel like, for the most part. Um, like I said, Strix, it's like Zendikar. Strixhaven and Zendikar didn't have all that powerful cards in it, so there's not much there in value, except except that expedition land we pulled. <laughs> okay, so this is Modern Horizons 2, which has normally treated me pretty well. We're pretty much chasing those um, rare lands and the monkey pirate is the, the top one I feel like. He's getting a reprint, by the way, in the new set. Chatterstorm, Scofos Reaver, Slagwood's Bridge, Skyblade's Boon, Constable of the Realm. We got our foil etched land. Not bad, not bad. We got a rare on our grave. Mm, nah. Common. This is the showcase art for Modern Horizons 2. Oh, an old card. Oh, I skipped one. Oh, no. God, it's like the worst, worst rare you can get. It's like it wanted me to skip over it. Okay, come on. We got to salvage this pack with a common. Come on, come on. Uncommon. Where are all the rares? I got two garbage ones. Oh, God. That's an old Modern Horizons 1. I don't know if it's worth anything, but probably not. Is this a token? No. Nope. Oh. I thought I saw two colors. Mm hmm. Oh, Modern Horizons, too trash. All right, so, so far, the packs that have cost the most money have yielded us nothing, pretty much. We're moving on to the last pack of the first video, the D&D &D set. For any D&D &D fans out there, this was a pretty cool set. What I would really like is the Borderless Tiamat. Because that card looks fantastic. Uh, I'm going to say the top card in this set. It's Old Gnawbone. Extended Art for them. Alright. Let's get some kind of Mythic Dragon, huh? I'll be happy with that. Alright, Shocking Grasp. Deadly dis. Pretty sure this card's worth money. This, like, this common. So annoying. 
You meet in a tavern. Reaper's Talisman. Got our land. Start with... Oh! Delina. Wild Mage. I think she's actually a decent rare hit just for the traditional traditional slot. There's a mythic. Come on, be a dragon, please. Yeah. Oh, it's the commander slot. God. That's not where we want mythics. They're usually worth nothing. <sighs> it is a beholder. We want the other beholder. The uh, blue-black one. Forgot. Forgot. Okay. Okay. <sighs> No, we don't want the dog. Here's another beholder. That means we're getting the other one, right? I'm coming. This is the showcase D&D art. Old school. Another rare. Oh. Dang it. I was hoping it was the treasure vault. The module cards. I want Treasure Vault for that. Common. This is the last shot, folks. Is this... Yeah, token. Okay, this is the last shot for us. Backslot. Magic. Mythic. It's a Planeswalker. Oh! Borden Kaiden! That's pretty sick. Oh, borderless foil. That is a back slot hit, yo. Oh, damn. I haven't actually seen this card in real life, in person. That is awesome. Morton Kaiden, you saved the day here.